Watch you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can fix the outlook search is not working and i'm going to show you some steps how you can go about to fix this problem so let's take a look now we're using uh, microsoft outlook 2019 uh, but you can use this method with any version of outlook uh, that you uh, have so whether you're using an older version 2010 2013 2016 you can use this method uh, they may be in slightly different locations but uh, you can still use it so let's go ahead and open up outlook 2019 and you can see here there's a search area here and when you search on here it's not working so go into file and options and then when you get into options you want to go to search and then inside here you can see all mailboxes okay so make sure the uh, radio button is on the uh, all mailboxes by default it's on current folder but if you've got more than one mailbox you want to make sure that you're searching all the mailboxes to detect and find uh, whatever you're searching for also include messages from the deleted items folder that's uh, another tick that you want to put in there this way that when you're searching you've got a, uh, a good chance of finding what you're looking for in the actual um, mailboxes that you have and also includes the messages from the deleted items folder as well in each of the data files there so go up to the top right and uh, you should see a button there called indexing options click on there so you should see internet explorer history and microsoft outlook listed in your index uh, these uh, locations so make sure they are there if they're not there then you need to make sure that you add them in and you can add those in uh, by going to the modifier section and make sure the ticks are in those locations so let me just quickly show you here go to the modifier section here and you should now see up the top here ticks in the microsoft outlook and also make sure the internet explorer history is uh, ticked as well and this means that uh, the locations that are ticked here are going to be eligible for search now if you're obviously uh, disabling indexing then you will need to enable the indexing search now if you've disabled the indexing search then you're not going to be able to search for anything so go into advanced now and then you can click on file types another thing to do is make sure uh, that you are uh, clicking on pst files here make sure it's enabled so go down to where it says pst and look for it if it's not listed there you can add it to uh, the extension list now I know a lot of people do disable the search index but you shouldn't do it because it's a really useful way of searching for content on your machine so you can see here PST is ticked and that's important if it's not there you can just click PST and click add and then make sure it's ticked and then OK and reboot the system and hopefully it will now search for PST content now once we get back to the indexing options go back into advanced and on the indexing settings you should see here rebuild uh, troubleshooting delete and rebuild index this will rebuild the index and obviously uh, detect a lot of stuff on the system which helps you uh, search and find stuff so do a rebuild of your index and once you've done that reboot the system and uh, you should then hopefully uh, be able to detect uh, any sort of old emails that you may have created and stuff like that so you can see here uh, 30,461 items were indexed and that's important okay so now you can close off your uh, outlook and go down to the search box and type here control panel so what we're going to do is go into control panel and programs and features and what we're going to do is try to repair our Microsoft Office a professional 2019 now depending on what version you've got it really doesn't matter just go to the programs and features here click on the actual program itself and then click on change and it should give you an option to do a quick repair or an online repair so just click change and up it will pop you can see here quick repair fixes most um, issues quickly without the need of an internet connection so this is the one here that you're going to need to uh, run and click repair down the bottom now if you've got online repair you will need an internet connection for this one and it takes a little bit longer to to run but it does some different repairs uh, but do the quick repair first because it's quite fast and hopefully that will resolve a lot of your problems now from here what you can do 
is go into the Explorer here, into the C drive, into Program Files or Program Files times x86. Mine is in Program Files. Go into the Microsoft, then into Root, then into Office 16. And inside here, what you're looking for is the uh, repair tool. So we're going to come all the way down until you should see scanpst.exe. You can run this as administrator. And uh, now you can browse for your actual mailbox that you've got. And this will obviously run a check on the mailbox to make sure the mailbox is working fine. So we're going to click on our mailbox here. Click open. And this will add it to the path there. Now you can click on start. It will try to repair uh, your actual mailbox there if you're having issues with the mailbox. Now if you've got numerous mailboxes, you may need to run that on uh, all your mailboxes to make sure they're not uh, broken. So what we're going to do next is go into file then come down to where it says account settings and you can see here inside here you've also got a little repair tool here which you can run on your account if you need to okay so there's a little uh, repair button right there as well now you normally only need to run the repair tools when you have some sort of issue with your uh, mailbox or uh, some sort of corruption and that will try to fix it okay so go back down to search and uh, go to GP edit and open up the GP edit tool. Here we go. Local group policy editor. Open this up. And uh, what we want to do is go to user configuration here. And then we want to come down to where it says administrative templates. Come down to uh, where it says Windows components. And inside Windows components, we're going to look for the search feature. Now you may need to be administrator if you are on a, a workstation or something like that. So they would look at this sort of uh, setup for you. But if you're on a, a Windows Home Pro uh, setup here and you've set these up yourself, look for the search feature here and go to the right hand side of the search. And we're just going to make sure that these are not configured and they've not been tampered with. Because obviously if you've can enabled some of these, it may be restricting uh, the search feature. Uh, for you okay so make sure they are not configured and they're not turned on if they have been enabled and you've uh, excluded paths and stuff like that and added stuff in here you may have blocked stuff okay also make sure that your indexing options are turned on and they are not turned off I noticed that uh, there is people that like to turn those features off but that's just silly it, it just will slow the system down when you're searching for stuff uh, obviously, uh, if you're running an SSD, uh, there's no need to disable uh, that feature. It's not going to have much impact on your SSD at all. That's just a bit of a myth. Uh, but basically, having that uh, feature enabled will speed up the process when you're searching for stuff. Now, if you've got a lot of content on your computer, uh, then having the indexing option on will allow you to find stuff very quick and easy. Now, I've got a lot of emails that are on my system which I need to sometimes uh, go back to and find, uh, especially people that I've been talking to previously. I need to go back and search for those um, emails and it's very quick and easy with that feature on. And if you turn it off, it's going to be very nearly impossible to try and find the, the right email uh, for that person. Anyway, that's about it for this video. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. That's basically how you can fix uh, the search feature not working inside Outlook 2019. Um, hope this one helps you out. Take it easy and have a great day. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.